Hello, everyone, and welcome to another online tutorial with the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. This tutorial is all about using OverDrive, which is an ebook and audiobook database that we love. So, this is actually just like borrowing a physical book, except everything is online. And just like borrowing a book normally at the library, all you'll need is your library card and, of course, your computer or smart device. So this is another one that you can access online um, on your computer or a smart device. You can access it through the web page on your smart device. You can also download the OverDrive or Libby app. But today we're going to show you how to access it using our website. So our first step is going to be to find the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library homepage. It is at ahmfl.org for Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. Right, once you're here, you can see there's lots of great information. We've got our sliders with different things to draw your attention to. We've got new books, library services, all kinds of good stuff. But we're going to head up to the top of the page and go to our main set of choices at the menu at the top. Right. First, we have a programs, which this is where you can find a calendar with different online programs that we're offering currently. We also have free resources, which is full of databases, which have great information for all kinds of different topics. All right, we're also gonna skip a little bit over and we have adult, makerspace, teens, children's room. These are all website or web pages connected through our homepage that have information about those specific audience groups. All right, and if you are looking to borrow eBooks or audiobooks today through OverDrive, but you don't have a library card yet, or your library card is expired, then you can actually apply to get a temporary digital library card with our request a card tab. Okay, but we're going to go back to the left at this menu and there are two places where you can find the information today. We have catalogs, which is our normal catalog tab that has our physical catalog and then also Hoopla where we have a video tutorial on how to set up Hoopla and start borrowing materials. We also have a link to the Franklin County physical catalog, but today, like I said, we are going to be using ebook overdrive. So you can click on it here or you can go just to our ebooks tab. We're going to click overdrive and it'll take you right into the overdrive system. You can see at the top, it says Franklin County Library System and Fulton County Libraries. That's because we actually share this system with the entire Franklin County area. So all of the libraries in the area share this together, which is great for you because it has lots of great resources. All right, now, this is the home page. Right, as you can see, Harry Potter has recently become available for borrow electronically. They have loosened the license. So it's pretty exciting to have it there. If you scroll down, there are also suggestions by different categories. All right, so you can keep scrolling, but I want to point out something to you before we go farther. If, if you look at some of the resources that we have here, like I said, Overdrive has eBooks and audiobooks. Ebooks are things that you would read on a device like your Kindle or Fire tablet. Um, if you have a Nook, you can read it on your iBooks app. All right, those are eBooks. And so if you look at each item underneath the picture, they have the title, the author, and then the format. So you can see the second one is an ebook and it has a little picture of a book. All right, and you can see the rest of these are all ebooks. But the very first one is actually the other kind of format available. It's an audiobook. So this would be just a book that you can listen to. All right, let's scroll back up to the top. So maybe I don't want to borrow any of these. If I'm looking for a specific book, at the very top, there are all kinds of filtering tabs that you can use. All right, we also have the search bar that you can click in and it'll bring up a search. So you can search for any title that you're looking for. If it's available, all right, then it'll have a borrow button. If it's not available, then you may have to put it on hold. Since this is like, just like borrowing from your normal library, all right, there are wait lists. There are only a certain number of copies available at, one, at any given time. All right, this is not like Hoopla, where if you saw our tutorial on Hoopla, Hoopla is 
a limited number of items you can borrow each month, but there is no wait, they're always available. Overdrive has an unlimited amount of borrows. You can only have a certain number at one time, but as soon as you return a book, you can check something else out. The question is just if it's available right now or not. So if you find something that's not available, you can add yourself to the wait list. I'm going to go ahead and click one of these that looks pretty interesting. Oh, House of Robots. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow this. So I'll click at the bottom underneath the item, borrow. And it will take you, if you've never used this before, it will take you to this sign-in page. All right, now there's a really important detail on this page. It says, welcome, please sign in, and then select your library. Because we work with the Franklin County system on this, there are two different choices. Please make sure if you're using your Alexander Hamilton card that you have Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library selected. Then, like I said, all you need is your library card to log into this. So you can type in your library card number. So And I did this once before to test. This is our dummy card number. So this is not a real card. I just set it up for the tutorials, but I'll go ahead and sign in. Your number will start with 27268 and have some zeros and the different numbers to end for your specific card. Once you have that typed in, we'll click sign in. And that will take you in. This pop-up will come up to show that the book is available to borrow, it's ready to lend it to you. It just wants to give you the option of how long you want to keep the book. Like I said, um, this is unlimited in how many books you can borrow in any given month, but you can only have a certain number out at one time. So if you are looking to take more out and you've reached your limit, you may not want to borrow books for a super long time. You can go into your account and go to the specific books and return them. So it's not, it's not hard to do um, if you wanna get rid of a book that you're finished with, but it's also easy here to decide, well, maybe I only wanna keep this one for seven days. Or if I think that it's gonna take me a really long time, of course you can, choose a different time amount. I'm going to put seven days because I'm confident in my ability to read House of Robots quickly. Right now, the next pop-up screen that comes is how you want to borrow the book. Like I said, these are eBooks, so they're all done, they're all read using your devices. Um, the main option is going to be Kindle. If you have a Kindle, this will, once you click on this, it'll actually link through to your Amazon account and then you can borrow the book through Amazon. If you don't have a Kindle, there are other options that you can use. You can click Read Now in Browser, which will bring up a browser so you can actually read it right on your computer. You can also download the EPUB ebook which will just be a file that you can use to read. And so some different apps on smart devices will use EPUB instead of the Kindle version or the Kindle format. So that's another option as well. I'll go ahead and click Read Now in Browser so you can see what it'll look like. It just opens another tab and then I can use my arrow keys to navigate here. All right, so you can see, ah, we've got our book. Now I'll go back at the top. I clicked back to my tab with the Franklin County Overdrive system. Um, so I went ahead and I borrowed that. I'll X out of that because I have it. Now, if I want to see my books, once I'm here at the Overdrive homepage, this is the last thing that I'm going to show you. You also have, now that you're signed in, you have a tab that says my account. So from here, you can click that and it'll bring up some different options. All right, if you have anything that you've placed on hold, so again, we had those, there are some items that other people have checked out and you might have to wait. If you have items that are on hold, you can click there to see what you're waiting for. I'm going to click on loans. So you can see here, I borrowed House of Robots and it shows up in my loans. And before we started the tutorial, I actually borrowed one of the Harry Potter books. It's pretty hard to resist Harry Potter. But so I've got that one in there now. Now, like I said, these are the titles that I have. Everything that you borrow will show up here. 
you can see it says that I have three more borrows at this time. If I return one of those, that number will move up to four. So let's say that I am finished with House of Robots. It was incredible. I read it in the browser. So fun, easy to read. I'm going to go ahead and go down here underneath House of Robots and I'm going to return the book. So this tab will pop up to return the title. You can click that and then now you can see with my loans tab, all I have left is Harry Potter and I can borrow four more books right now. So this is a great one. Um, again, this is Overdrive, which if you've heard of Libby, Libby and Overdrive work in conjunction. So they're basically the same thing. Um, and you can use either app. Okay, but this is a great resource for borrowing eBooks and audiobooks. All right, again, it's just like borrowing from your library. You use your library card. And then if I wanted to completely sign out of my account, I can just go back up here to the My Account tab and sign out. So I hope that this was useful for you to see how to use the library's OverDrive catalog, how to check out books, how to return them, how to use them. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on our social media. You can email us at staff at ahmfl.org. That will be in the video description. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions. We are here to help. Even though we're closed, we are ready and waiting to help you with any questions that you have to make sure that you get the resources that you need. So we hope that this tutorial was informative. We hope that you are staying safe and good reading. All right, have a great day, everyone.